Yo, 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 Nintendo here once again, and it is time for a discussion slash tag video. I wanted to discuss my New Year's, like, goals, like, my gaming goals, my collecting goals, and my YouTube goals for 2017. I know it's a little bit late, but it's still January. It's not too late. Um, and then I want to tag five people. Hopefully I can get a couple video responses from at least a couple of them. If not all five, that would be amazing. Uh, so anyways... Collecting goals, 2017. First of all, I've already met a few of these goals, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, but one of them for sure is to complete games. Um, I've been trying to complete all my DS and 3DS games. I think at the beginning of this year I had like eight or nine of them, and I already only have four more games to complete and like two more manuals. Four more games that I need cases and manuals for, and then two games that I need manuals for. And so DS and 3DS, I'm getting those completed. That's going to be hopefully done soon. And then I'm going to move on to Genesis Loose Carts and try to get the boxes and manuals for those, at least the boxes, so I can have them nice and displayed with my other complete and box Genesis games. Um, actually, a lot of my Genesis games are missing manuals, so I might actually start looking for manuals for Genesis games as well. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely a goal of mine to start, you know, completing games that I have loose copies of, especially if they come in clamshells, you know, or like disc-only systems. I do have a bunch of PlayStation 1 games I'd like to complete also, like Castlevania Chronicles and Brigandine, but man, those are going to be expensive to do, but it'd be nice to. Okay, so other collecting goals, uh, Turbo Graphics games, really on the hunt for those. Uh, I've got quite a bit of them now, and uh, but there's, there's so many more that I'm after. And it'd be nice to grab some really cool ones like Devil's Crush and Alien Crush. And, like, uh, I'd really like to get Kadash. Uh, is that disc? I think Kadash is on a Hue card. I'm actually not sure about it. I'll have to look into that one. But, um, yeah, there's a bunch of Turbo Graphics games that I need. And then imports. Well, um, I'm just scouring the internet right now for imports. And I hate to say it, but the best place to get imports right now is eBay. Um, they're still fairly cheap. Most of the time, if you're getting it from Japan... Shipping is free. It's going to take three or four weeks to get to you, but it's worth the wait. And uh, sometimes I get imports super cheap. I've gotten imports for six bucks shipped, and uh, they're RPGs, and there's a translation available. I mean, how can you beat that? An RPG that nobody else gets to play unless you're willing to import something or emulate it and get the translation for it. It's just, it's amazing. And I've already beaten a couple of them. That's how much I love Super Famicom RPGs. I've beaten Live a Live. I've beaten East 5, which I did a review on. Check that out. And then... Uh, the Dragon Quest 1 and 2 combined cart. I've beaten Dragon Quest 1 on there, and I'm working on 2, so... And that kind of leads me to my other goal. I want to beat more games. I want to beat more RPGs this year. Uh, i got to finish Dragon Quest 2 on Super Famicom. I'm playing Persona 1 right now and trying to complete that, even though that's going to be a freaking daunting task. I'd really like to complete Radiant Historia. Uh, there's just a lot of RPGs that I'd like to finish or start and finish. Um, I did kind of a break of like not beating RPGs for a little while. I think the last one I beat was Parasite Eve, and that was quite a while ago. Um, so yeah, that's it for my collecting goals, and as far as like beating games, uh, as far as YouTube and gaming, I'd like to do more reviews, and uh, yeah, there'll probably be more RPGs, because I want to beat a few RPGs, and once I beat them, I'll have a lot of footage, and I can do a review on them, so that'd be really cool. So that's about it. Those, those are my collecting goals, my YouTube goals. Just want to do more reviews. Um really want to get more imports, really want to complete some games, and uh, beat those games that I actually have that I've been meaning to beat. So that's it. What do you guys think your collecting goals are? Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know if you have collecting goals, if you're going to start a YouTube channel, if you're going to maintain or better your YouTube channel. Are you going on a schedule or something? I still, I still can't do a schedule yet. Um, but uh, are you going to beat some games? What games are you hoping to beat this year? So yeah, just let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to tag five people. I'm going to tag... Actually, it's more than five people because one of them's like a group of people. But I'm going to tag five channels here. And uh, we're going to see if we can get some video responses. That would be amazing. First of all, we're going to tag a brand new channel. Uh, my buddy Eric from Salem. Uh, he knows... He's known as the Viking Gamer. And uh, he's really good at scoring games. And he plays a lot of games. So I'd like to know what his gaming goals and YouTube goals are this year, that'd be really cool. So Eric, if you'd like to make a video, that'd be rad. Uh, let's do Daria from Daria Plays RPGs. Really awesome channel. 
uh, growing quite a bit, and there's a good reason. She's a great reviewer, so check out that channel for sure. Daria, what are your goals for 2017 as far as gaming and YouTube? And then, let's see, we're going to do Whittle Brother. Haven't ever tagged Whittle Brother that I can think of, and he's got an awesome channel, great personality, and amazing beard. So, yeah, Whittle Brother, go ahead and make a... Uh, a uh, response video. I'm pretty sure he will. He's freaking awesome as hell. And we are also going to tag, let's see, Retro Survival. Retro Survival is just an awesome person. That guy is rad as shit. He watches my content on the regular and I consider him a friend. You know, we've never met before, but I consider him just like Whittle Brother. I consider him a really good friend. So uh, yeah, that'd be really rad. If Retro Survival, you could make a video that would be cool. And the last one, these guys are like my new favorite channel. In fact, my girlfriend really likes this channel too. Uh, she's not too much into the gaming channels on YouTube, but as soon as I started watching this channel, she was hooked. And that is Rebel Gaming Club. Uh, man, you guys need to watch that channel. If any of you guys watching this video are not familiar with Rebel Gaming Club, I'm going to leave links to all the channels below in the description, but be sure to check out Rebel Gaming Club. Uh, a few guys they have great personalities. So, so good. Uh, just funny. Super funny. Such funny pickups that sometimes I forget what they've picked up. I don't even care what they've picked up. I'm watching it for their personality. Uh, it'd be really great if you guys can make a response video and if you guys can like all get together and maybe do it as a topic. That would be rad, but you know, don't have to, but it'd be rad. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what your gaming goals are for this year and uh, YouTube goals or anything like that. That would be rad. Subscribe, share, like, all that jazzy shit. Thank you very much for watching. Keep rocking the retro games.